my 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 gemini it is i it is mira shira it is vibra it is scorpion red zero i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed for february 2021 we are here to have fun we are i hope everyone has been having a fine and festive beginning of 2021 um, we're about to get into some lovely, lovely energy today. You know, I got, you know, the love cards out because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up very soon. Very, very soon, you guys. So if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading with me, go ahead and click the description of this video. And it gives you the details of all my information of how to book with me, uh, pricing and all of that good jazz. Um, if you do not have Instagram, which is the best way to connect with me, go ahead and click the about tab on my youtube page it gives my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com go ahead and shoot me an email and i help get you all set up on google hangouts which is a free easy app to download the only thing that we need to do is um exchange our email and then we can link up for the video chat for your reading so again the best form to get in contact with me is by instagram messenger otherwise shoot me an email at uh gmail which is a uh, scorpion at gmail.com okay if you guys want to send some love over to the channel again all of these decks have been um by the most part a lot of them have been donated by you guys and again just by the personal bookings and everything just me being able to take that money and put it back into the business so if you guys want to send some love over to us um feel free to check out the paypal the cash app and the amazon wish list okay so Let's get into today's energy and you guys don't mind my nails because I'm learning how to do nails. And I took this hand off to reshape it. So, whatever. <laughs> I know y'all probably like, why she only got one, one of her hands done? Because. Because. Anyway, so um, I just wanted to go ahead and just give God, the creator, the universe, whatever you want to call him, praise and thanks before we get into the energy today. So just bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini. Uh, you already know how everything is popping with us, Father God. We just trying to keep ourselves balanced and just trying to stay 10 steps ahead of the game, Father God. You know, we just are... You know, using a lot of this energy that we got and trying to put it into some positive things. We've been creating a lot of stuff. We're doing a lot of shopkeeping, okay? So we've been cleaning up shop and just getting everything all organized and ready for our blessings to come in the door, you know, because, you know, God ain't going to come around and paying out no blessings and no dirty environments, Father God. So we've been shop cleaning. We've been cleaning up shop, okay? We've been checking our inventory, seeing what we got, what we need, what we don't need, Father God. So, you know, because we trying to be blessed to receive in the name of Jesus. So, Father, please give us the guidance and the energy that we need to receive today to just keep us on the path that we need to be on in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for, you know, helping us develop and show our purpose uh, and just allow us to develop our skills during this time. Father God, please give us the guidance that we're looking for for February for my beautiful, beautiful Gemini's. February 2021, thank you so much in the name Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get into this, you guys. So, we're going to use the Love Archetype Oracle deck. Alright, let's see what y'all got cooking up. Gemini always has some interesting energy, so <laughs> let's see what's going on with my Gemini's in the day. So give me guidance for my Gemini. Give me one card for Gemini for February. Thank you so much. Give me one card for Gemini. Thank you so much. You got Ernest Hemingway. Treasures those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Treasure your... Ah, oh, why can't I? Lord Jesus. Okay, let me show y'all the card. Give myself two seconds. One, two, three. Okay, hold on. Let me take them. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe I need some coffee in the name of Jesus. Okay. Treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any Taurus into your own private Paris. To love someone and to mean it. It's a rare and valuable thing. Come on, Mr. Hemingway. Hold on, sir. I like you, Mr. Hemingway. 
I surely like you. You 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 talking some stuff that make a lot of good sense around here. I just couldn't read in the name of Jesus. Okay, so it says again, treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any Taurus into your own private Paris. To love someone and to mean it is a rare and valuable thing. To love someone and to mean it, okay, is rare and valuable. And don't let nobody in your own private place of peace, do you understand? Unless they know it and they mean it. And they mean to be there to keep your peace and to keep your standard of uh, luxury, okay? Come on now. Come on now. I like Mr. Hemingway. I sure do. I like what Mr. Hemingway got to say. Let's see what else we got going on. Give me guidance here for my Gemini's. February 2021. out and then where was this one hardship what what oh jesus christ we going to die. child we got doubt and we got hardship now come on gemini we ain't even about to do it we ain't about to do it so treasure those seconds and I, I, I'm serious I have to read this again because it has so much meaning and importance to these words treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating do not allow any Taurus into your own private Paris some things you got to keep to yourself Gemini you can't just be allowing any old body to come into your private place of peace and I'm getting like, this is your home. There's some type of doubt and some hardship that is falling over you right now in regards to your home environment. I really, really feel that. Because like when you look at his environment, it's his home. You know, that looks like his study. His study, his place of peace within his house. So like that may be his private Paris for him where he sits down and he does his writing and stuff like that. You see he has very, very beautiful, beautiful pictures up on the wall. Everything up there has meaning. It has something to do with the craft. It has something to do with the skill of his. And it has meaning. It has culture. So it's like, I don't know why I'm feeling like. To say something about people appreciating your culture. Like appreciating your culture and who you are and what it is that you bring to the table and who. Yeah, who it is that you bring to the table. It says hardships. May I embrace what is happening right now as baffling or as painful as it is. Help me God to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. There is something going on right now. Do not allow any Taurus into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it. It is a rare and valuable thing. Offering all to the uh, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises but you can say free me from this prison of doubt i cast this burden to you show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence whatever it is that's going on right now give it to god embrace what is going on with you right now and again like it says understand and trust where god is guiding you Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. And again, do not allow any Taurus into your own private Paris. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. 
And again, offering all to the divine does not mean negativity never arises. Doesn't mean that you ain't going to go through things. God just going to show you what to do with it. And how to make sure it don't happen again. Don't be letting nobody in your private parents. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. Treasure those seconds where you felt your heart beating. Clarify this for my Gemini, please. Oh, Lord, it popped right out. The four of emotions over it. Over it. Over being rejected. Someone is over being rejected. I'm awoke. I'm sober. You ain't got to say it to me no more. I'm over it. I'm so good. I'm just focused on my happiness right now. Like, anything that's beneath me, I'm not even paying attention to it. It's like someone's being awoken to whatever bullshit that they were dealing with. And it was like life was just passing you by. Like someone, like I want to say someone's finally paid attention to the time that they have spent. The time that they've spent like being an option. Like, like you kept handing your cup to someone and they just kept looking over it as if it was an option like they really didn't want it. You're like, oh, for real? You ain't going to keep overlooking my motherfucker cup like that. I'm good on you. I'm so good. The three of material. I'm working on myself. Me and my sisters. We got our own thing going on. I started my own company. We doing. We got this braiding company. I'm focusing on my arts, on my gifts. All right? You might have went back to school. You might have got a new job where you're learning a new craft or something like that. You're around new people that are definitely like-minded and that can teach you something. Like, I, look, I'm sober. I don't know if you coming out of, like, sober living or something like that, but you just woken up. Like, life is so precious. You understand how valuable time is and how not to give your emotions to things that make you feel like an object or an option I'm not going to keep you're not going to keep rejecting me and overlooking me and bypassing me fuck all this hardships like I'm focusing on newness learning something new so you guys may be coming to a new job you guys may be sobering up right now I don't really think that it's really it's sobering I feel like it's a sobering effect about whatever is going on in your life I don't necessarily think that someone has a drinking problem but someone may have had like a substance issue what is this the ten of inspiration the eight of emotions the page of voices and the four of materials Ooh, we got an enemy on the camp. What do I spy with my naked eye? Mm -hmm. So you guys decided to let go. You guys decided to let go, to move on. No point to keep carrying burdens. It doesn't mean... It doesn't mean anything to you anymore how much time or how much energy that you might have spent into something because it may have seemed to other people like, oh shit, you were almost there. Like, shit, you, like, if you would just spent a little bit more effort, tried a little bit harder, you could have got to where you were trying to go. Like, listen, I've carried this burden for far too long. Trust me. Trust me. You only got one or two times to keep rejecting me or keep playing with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm carrying, if I'm doing everything by myself, then I'm going to do it by myself. What is the point of me carrying you along with me or trying to hold up the world for a whole bunch of people who give, who don't appreciate? I don't know why I feel like it's someone that did not appreciate what you were doing, how hard you had stood in for the fight. Not acknowledging your skills and all of your determination to make things better. Like, okay, this shit don't mean nothing to you. How about I just love myself and I just drop everything and let everything go. I'm so good. I can focus all of that energy on myself. Not going to do it anymore. I'm working on me now. So, again, it's like focusing on your skills, your crafts, your ability. Putting down unnecessary burdens, focusing on 
the real institute of love, which is yourself. If I don't love myself, can't nobody love me in the appropriate way. Because if I don't, truly, this vessel, this vessel, if I don't protect this vessel, it will be tarnished. And it would be, have you ever seen like a, a brand new building that they just like built in your neighborhood? In like maybe three years time, they don't vandalize it. It's graffiti all over it. You walk in the hallways, it's pissing in the hallways. And you just like, didn't they just build this shit? Someone can piss up or fuck up something brand new just like that if you let them. And who there to clean up the mess? You by yourself. I'm learning a new way. The new way told me to drop my burdens. Focus on me. Hello. 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 Got an enemy on the play. And it looks like you've been holding yourself back. You could not be talking to someone. You could, could be very secretive right now. You're not letting people know where you're going, what you're doing. You're not giving people too much. You're playing broke. Um, you looking good while playing broke. And motherfuckers may not be understanding where all this new shit is coming from. Like, I thought we were going through this hardship together. We're not. We're not. Pulling all my assets out of the bank. I'm starting a new deposit situation with a whole nother banking situation. Like, I, why am I, I feel like someone is pulling out their coins. Someone is pulling out their coins and they're starting like a new bank account somewhere. It's like, I don't trust you. I don't know you like that anymore. I don't like you. You, like some, whoever this is right here. This page of swords in the reverse, it's like you're not to be trusted. And I damn sure shouldn't keep my coins around you. And I damn sure shouldn't be letting you know what the fuck I'm doing. Like the four coins of someone being very, very secretive and being like very close and short mouth. Like all of the answers could be like one word answers. Like you good? Yeah, I'm good. What you doing today? Nothing. You seen the kids today? Yeah, I seen them. Oh, we good? Yeah, we good. Like it's, <laughs> like, it's just like something. And I feel like someone is trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on with you. And I don't, I don't, I feel like someone doesn't like the fluctuation and the change of energy. Like I really do feel like you could be trying to keep your peace to yourself. Like your, like someone is realizing how protective they are of their private Paris. To love someone and to mean it is a rare and valuable thing. I get that now. And sometimes going through hardships is when you really see who fuck with you and who don't. Who fuck with you and who don't. Tired of this rejection. I done had my introspection. I'm alive now. I'm holding back. I understand and I appreciate every single time. That God has given me. And I will not give it to nothing. And nobody. Unless they're truly worth it. Any burdens I'm dropping it. Because when I'm carrying on things. That do not need to be held by me. That is when all those burdens. And those doubts. And all it is. If I just don't deal with you. What the fuck would I be doubting myself about? Nothing. If you Listen. If you're constantly around someone. That seems like they're bored. They, you know, they got better things to do. You asking them, you want to do something? Uh, I don't know. I, just, uh, I ain't not, uh, I don't know. Uh, bitch, fuck you. I'm good. I'm not going to keep fucking. <laughs> Shit. Y'all crazy as hell. Jim and I said, I wish I would. Somehow going through some tough shit wakes you up. Sobers you up. A sober mind. Encourages a healthy body. You know? Give me goddess and love for Gemini, please. Goddess and love for Gemini, please. Ooh. That's a lot. Goddess and love for Gemini. Oh, the snake, Lord Jesus. Why I gotta be the snake? Clarify the snake. Give me goddess and love for Gemini. What is this? Cupid's arrow. And then healthy choices. So you got the snake. 
and remember I told you there's like an enemy on the plate is an enemy on the field this uh, this someone that don't like when you think too much to yourself like when you start to think too much to yourself you start to get big headed and you start thinking you know what the fuck you doing and this is and that and, blah, blah, blah. and you start asking questions and you know why am I having to carry all of this shit on my own I feel like you're not doing anything to help me bitch shut up like I'm so sorry like I <laughs> Why am I feeling like y'all be dealing with some wild ass? Listen, it says competition. The enemy. Clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. Cupid arrow. Healthy choices in the reverse. You're dealing with something. You're dealing with someone in love where, again... It could be a hardship in a love situation. You could be thinking that there's another woman. Someone could possibly not like and you ask too many questions. When you sit back and you be loving yourself real good and you be thinking to yourself, like all this thinking, like, I, I feel rejected, Tom. Every time I come in the house and I'm like, you want to do something, this, this, and that, you act like you got better things to do. Like, you rather be out with your boys. Are you fucking your boys or something? You spend more time with them than you spend with me. I'm tired of just feeling this constant feeling of rejection. Like, what is this? I don't understand. Like, girl, you, girl, you don't come in here and ask this motherfucker nothing no more. No more. Okay? That motherfucker can have that other woman if that's what Tom is doing. You could be awoken to that right now. Because this is someone feels like there's an enemy on the. It's like it's something going on. I love this person, but it's something very unhealthy about this love option. This is not healthy choices right here. It's not. It's something slithering around. It's something going on. And I'm not stupid. And I know it. It just it just does not. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It's like someone got their hooks into another woman. And it's making it an unhealthy environment there. And then you do have the three of materials right there. So, you know. The Three of Materials, the Three of Pentacles is like someone receiving some type of aid, assistance, help, and something. Like an extra hand. Give me guidance about this love situation. Put, oh, goodness. This fell on the floor. You got the date. And then you got wedding ring. So... Someone could be dating someone that's married. Someone could be dating someone that has a, a wedding ring on. What is going on? Give me some more guidance in this. Give me three more cards for Gemini, please. February. being too nosy <laughs> oh all right let's see what we got here for Gemini we'll do some clarification and we're gonna wrap this on up you got the mask and stabbed in the back in the name of Jesus oh my goodness yeah so it's like someone's hiding their true intentions with someone um they're definitely stabbing someone in the back they're stabbed this someone is having a mask on and someone is being stabbed in the back because someone is not really showing their true attention. Someone is married here. Someone is most definitely dating someone who is married. If you're wondering why you guys have been going through this hardship, you've been feeling a lot of doubt about where you stand in this situation with someone, it's because it could most definitely be a third party situation. Like this person could be like unnecessarily like showing you who they are and what it's like to work in this situation like you may have to alternate between other people you know what I'm saying so it's like this person could have like a rotating ship or something like that this is this could be someone that's married 
they have their obligation at home they have their obligation with you and it could be dating like a few other people so it could be like three individuals mixed up in this thing where there's like a rotation most definitely there's someone here that's watching something that's looking at something there's an enemy there's a spy there's someone else you know what i'm saying or just like this is bad energy right here um this is someone that's paying attention very deeply because like all of a sudden this motherfucker want to drop burdens with me and they want to love themselves all of a sudden also now you don't want to play this game no more now 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 you want to be a free frequency type of person you want to be free of all negative shit like bitch you was in the negative shit when we first started fucking with each other so now all of a sudden oh now it's a big deal that i'm married that's such a burden you don't want to carry it no more you want to love yourself like what the fuck are you talking about like <laughs> Like, you hold yourself back when I'm asking you what you doing. Like, you giving me these one answer fucking questions, uh, uh, answers and shit like that. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what, like are you cheating? You, are you talking to somebody else? So, why am I getting, like, it's the married person sitting up there questioning the single person? Like, because you realize, like... This person is slithering around with other people, not just me. You may know that this person is married already. But this, it's like this person is like still slithering around, shooting an arrow out, looking for fucking love and shit like that. Like this is not, this ain't healthy. This is not, this is not healthy at all. Like I'm, I'm awake. Tired of confusion. Tired of feeling like, you know worthless almost like this is like someone when you constantly are offering and offering and offering it someone seems bored by you you're constantly being rejected you don't know if you want to extend yourself to this person no more because of the energy that they've given off like you're not sure if that like nah fuck you like i'm not about to keep doing like you not about to have me keep feeling like that fuck you like i might cry over this and it's like this isn't healthy. Not healthy. Not healthy. Not healthy. And it, 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 yo, yo, this person will lie to you, will put a mask on, will tell you whatever the fuck they want you to hear while they stabbing you in the back. Do you understand? So hold off from this person. Do you understand? Like this is like the page of voice in the reverse. A page of swords in the reverse is someone that is extremely reckless. That is someone that may do intentional foolish shit and don't care about how it looks, how it affects other people. Someone that is extremely immature. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got to watch out for somebody like that because they'll, they'll get you into a lot of trouble. I'm sorry, I'm all scratching my titty. <laughs> Let's clarify the rest of it. Let's wrap this up for my Gemini's. Yeah, just someone that is like a traitor. Like, they will sit there and continue to smile on your face with this mask on while they're literally stabbing you with the back at the same time. And all of a sudden, you loving yourself and you standing up for yourself. It's not even that you're standing up for yourself. you just acting different because you're not tripping over them no more. Like, you really are awake now. And this person is just like, what the fuck? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oh, Lord. I could have told you that. Good dick and a headache. The Nine of Chalices and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So, it's like... I want to say that you could possibly have a family with this person because if I'm looking at this card, this looks like a family celebrating, like a family get together or something like, you know, um, you may see this person on holidays and that's it. Like this person may just only come on celebration holidays or when you got food. Or when you're doing something. So, like, if you get food stamps, shout out to all my sisters out there with them food stamps. Okay, y'all let me know when y'all get y'all food stamps. I can buy some. <laughs> y'all let me know this. I'm trying to give me some beef rib tips, some oxtail from the international market. Y'all holler at me because that international market be a little expensive. Y'all let me know. Like, listen. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm reloaded. Okay, listen. 
this motherfucker may only come through on holidays or when they feel like they can get some type of wish granted by receiving some type of energy that they can't receive on their own like the king of wands in the reverse is someone that only comes when they can get their jollies off you know what i'm saying so their jollies off may be sexual things it may just be like I said, coming through on a holiday, coming through me, my house, raiding right in the kitchen, uh, eating all the snacks. They may like this may be someone that has like a food or like a, a drinking addiction or something like that. So like this may literally be someone that only come over to your house just to drink up your liquor and free low and then dip out. When they know you got money, when they know that you got food, when they know you got like, or they know it's going to be a whole lot of people coming over or something like that. Like, that's the only time when this person comes through to see you or something like that. And it's like you could. It's like someone was wishing that this person comes back and kind of stays for good, but they're not going to. The Knight of Wands does not stay around for nobody. The the, the Knight of Wands is a hoe hopper. You know what I'm saying? Like a hoe hopper, a showstopper. Like they could most definitely have three or four different women. You know what I'm saying? And put a different mask on with each and every one of y'all. This motherfucker will be back around when you got your tax money though. He he'll be back when you when you have your tax money. I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, he will be back around when you got your tax money. The fuck? I can tell you that right now. You got the Ten of Wands. They go that burden again. You got that Ten of Wands and the Three of Chalices. So this Ten of Wands, it again, like, ooh. I feel like you guys, you, it's like you felt like you were almost there. I don't know if y'all could have just had like an experience of a birth of a new baby or something. You see with that three of cups right there. And three of, and the three of hearts does represent childbirth and um, cardamancy. Most definitely means three of cups is like childbirth and tarot as well. Celebrations like, you know, people reconnecting or something. So it's like. You guys could have just recently celebrated like childbirth or something like that. Um, Y'all could have been dating each other for like three years or something. I want to say that it's been like an uphill battle. You guys were trying to like see it or do this shit together or something. But and I want to say like y'all were almost there, but it was like a burden. It was a burden and it was a hard way. Remember when I was saying that you guys were almost there? I don't know if like the birth of this kid, like you you felt like you were almost there to marriage or something like that. Or look at these two people. It's like even even though there's no marriage here, they're not married. They're they're together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they've been going through something together, but at the same time, bruh, I don't give a fuck about the birth of this child or nothing. This person has been wearing a mask while stabbing you in the fucking back the whole fucking time. Like, this person could have been cheating the whole fucking... I mean, the whole uh, fucking relationship, girl. The whole relationship. Like, the whole relationship, you could have been suffering and going through a moment of doubt. Like, constantly seeking and spying and trying to figure out where this person has been. Like, what they've been doing. You asking questions, motherfucker, catching an attitude because you be asking questions. Like, this shit is fucking crazy. This shit is fucking crazy. The ace of emotions. Like, again, putting down all of that shit and just focusing on my motherfucking self. Like, I'm t Listen, I've been walking this mile. I've been walking this journey. Man, my feet are sore. I've been trying to walk. I swear, I've been trying to work on this. I swear to God, I could. I swear to God I have been. But you're not going to keep trying to weave in all of these other bitches and keep thinking that I'm going to be okay with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just supposed to work this shit like this? This is what I'm supposed to be learning? I definitely feel you guys have come into new financial structures, new financial capabilities where you're learning new skills. But at the same time, I definitely see a playboy that is trying to Get you adjusted and learn to accept 
being committed, but allowing this person to still date. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what this person is trying to get you accustomed to. But all of a sudden, here comes you with this self-love. And you, you, you're tired of feeling like, oh, now all of a sudden, like, what? 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 Look. look. I'm sober. You can't come over my house to party and drink no more. Give me some sex. Dip out. And come back and forth whenever the fuck you choose to. You can't do that no more. You keep putting your snake out there. Because you, you need, cause this person, is this, this motherfucker probably very well endowed. Knows it. Very skilled sexually. Knows it. You still got your dick out there. Or you still slipping around with your puss. Still out there searching for love and shit. This, mm -mm. You can do it. But you can do it without me. Okay. To love someone and to mean it is a very rare and valuable thing. And I may meant and I may meant it and I may loved you, but you have done nothing but bring me hardship and doubt. And I'm not about to sit there and wait for you to wake up and recognize what the fuck you had in front of you. I will remove it. And I will give it to myself. Now add that to your motherfucking pipe and smoke it, bitch. Add that to your motherfucker pipe and smoke it. Listen, ring for wine. Go ahead and take you a sip, baby. Tell that motherfucker to add that shit to their fucking pipe and smoke it. You can't get nothing from me. Not a single motherfucker, single solitary scent. Anything that I may say to you is in a one word motherfucker syllable. You can't say it like, bitch. You won't even get a, I don't know. You won't even get a, I don't know out of me. You get a yes, no. Ain't no maybe so, bitch, no. What? Bitch. The fuck? Listen, Gemini, y'all better boss the fuck up on these motherfuckers. Because sometimes people be thinking, oh, just because y'all live the lifestyle of being. Because this is someone that is literally living the lifestyle of being in a married, committed relationship. Regardless if you have the rank or not. Like, that does not mean that you are not in a, a commitment. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, yo. This shit just pissed me off, young. Because I definitely feel like y'all just had a birth of a child. Like, y'all have a fairly new child. Like, this child ain't no fucking three, four, five years old. Like, still to me, a three-year-old is still like a... It's a... It's a you know, it's a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this ain't no... This is a baby here. Someone just had a baby. Y'all's on dick. I'm sorry. I don't like that shit. Y'all don't be doing my Gemini's like that. I'll come and get you. Listen, Gemini, y'all let me know if this punk hoes need to get punched in their face. Because we could pull up on them, okay? Y'all already know how we do over here. So, no. <laughs> I'm on Gemini. I'll see y'all in the comments. Peace.